You can take a break and have a drink. You can pause the video and play it back later. I'm back. All right. So let's continue with this. I'm so bored, you know. So just trying to put in some fun here and there. I hope you laugh, but if you don't, if you don't, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go back to our fun class here. So from line five to all the way to line number 34, that is our class, if you can see. Yeah, all right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five data members. We have a tree function, okay. All our data members are private. There's one function, which is a private function. It is called calculate, okay. I have two, uh, which means this function can only be called. Okay, I can I can call this function to work only within this class, inside this class. Okay, from line number five to thirty-four, right? And uh, name, quiz, midterm, total, and age can also be used only within line number five and thirty-four, which is within the class, right? Okay, but for public functions like get info and display, you can actually call this function externally out of out of this uh, out of this uh, class. Can you call it inside? Yes, you can. But you can call it outside too. But if it's private, you can only call it inside. Which gives the reason why, if you look at line number 30, I have a function called call calculate. And if you realize, I only call calculate within the class, right? Because calculate is a private function. Okay? It's a private function. Okay, now, so uh, let's come back to this. So. Let's go to main now, okay? Remember, we have created an object just now. Start one is basically an object. Okay, I'm gonna write here for you. This is object. <coughs> Creating an object. Okay, this is a public function, right? This is a public function. Uh, this is a public function. This is a private function. And this is, these are all private data members, yeah? Oops, sorry. Um, all private data members, okay? So you see, uh, the, the one thing about class that, that you can do, that uh, structures cannot, is that you can have functions in your class. Structure can only have data members. And you can have uh, public and private, okay, at the same time, okay? For, for access, different kind of access. Okay, now, let's go back to main. So I have proc2 start one. You know that start one is a pro it's an object. Proc2 is the name of a class. And this is how we create an object by using the class and creating the object, the name start one. So technically speaking, start one cannot access cannot access name, quiz, midterm, total, and calculate because they are private. Remember, but they can access get info. They can access display. How do you access them? Very simple. This is the simplest thing you will see. Start one dot. Okay, get info. Right. That's it. Okay, after getting the info, I will have another start one. Okay, dot, okay, display. And we have our first class and object program done. Okay, so let's run this program. Okay, and as you can see, I can have the, your name, okay. Let's go uh, Western today, right? John, your quiz. John is getting 12. Uh, I'm sorry. I think I've missed something out here. Uh, your name. Oh, yeah, sorry. Let's correct that. Much apologies, guys. You see, even I do mistakes. So don't worry if you make mistakes. Okay? We are all human. And we learn from our mistakes. So the third one is Mitten. Sorry, and the fourth would be H. Okay, now we got it right. So run the program again. Okay, so your name. Ta da 
John. Quiz, 12. Midterm, mm, 45. Age, uh, pretty young, 21. And you can see I've displayed John, 21, 57. Okay? Do you realize that? And uh, John is the name. 21 is the age, which is what... Uh, what 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 is displayed by function display and when you call function calculate right function calculate would would add up quiz and midterm which is 12 and 45 which give you gives you 57 and it return total which means it returns 57 back to wherever it is being called which is here and this become 57 and therefore you get 57 okay uh, Let's make this look. Uh, sorry. Let's let's make it make this look a bit nicer. Uh, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna see out. Um, uh, N line. The output. Okay. And another N line. And see if we can get a more decent um, output here right okay so john 12 45 your age 21 and there you go the output john 21 57 okay and that is how you call functions from class just like how you use structure i mean using the dot specifying okay the question is can you use pointers just like how you do it in structure okay yes you can okay i'm going to show you an example so proc2 class i'm going to create a pointer i call it ptr right and this pointer is going to point to start one there we go ptr and instead of using start one i'm going to use ptr and because ptr is a pointer i cannot use the dot operator just like structure i have to use the arrow okay and let's leave start one as it is and if i run this program okay it will work the same Right? Okay. Agree? So you can try that. You can actually use PTR arrow display as well, and it will give you the same result. Okay, in that sense. Okay, so that's I think I think I hope we are clear with the pointer uh thing. You can actually do the same thing as structure. So I'm gonna revert this back to start one dot get info. Okay, so remember this is how you call the function. Uh, in certain cases, like for example, you must be thinking, why do I need a written total when I can actually call total here directly? Because total is within the class. I can straight away print total, right? You are right. We can do that. Okay, but I'm just showing you an example of how the function can return something, just like a normal function. And if I put total here, there is no need to return total. Therefore, I'll change this to void. And therefore, there is no need for line number 14. I can straight away calculate quiz plus midterm and store it in total. And total being one of the data members within class proc2, I can print it with, I can use it within the class, okay, which is total. And if I run this program, it will give us the same output. Oh, sorry. My goodness. You see what we, what have we discussed about errors? <laughs> okay, I think my time is almost up, so I'm gonna split this up. Uh, yeah, it hangs. Okay, so the same thing, right? So I can actually do that, and I assure you, if you run this program, you will get the same output, okay? Even if I change the total. So that's about 10 minutes. I'll see you in the next video.